What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Seattle Mariners franchise here on MLB The Show 19. Thank you guys for joining us today. We are going to take on the Baltimore Orioles. You see who's on the hill. We are six games below 500. The Orioles are a lot more than that. So we are hoping for a victory here at home in T-Mobile Park. There's Edwin Encarnacion doing his suicides, getting ready for the game. Felix Hernandez, King Felix, been pitching more like Prince Felix this year, as you can see, with a 4-7-7 ERA and a 4-8 and record. Here is King Felix striking out a batter there in the first inning with a man on. And there is the starting lineup for the Baltimore Orioles. DJ Stewart, Jace Patterson, Jonathan Villar, Trumbo, Mancini, Nunez, Perez, Ricard, and Escobar in this lineup. Here we go. It's going to be a double play to get us out of the inning. Loving it. And Alex Cobb will come to the mound for the Orioles. A 3-9-5 ERA, but he has had a rough going with some run support with a 3-10 record. So here we go. That's going to be a out. <laughs> Unfortunately for Malik Smith, who leads us off, we also have Jose Reyes, Edwin Encarnacion, Jay Bruce, Ryan Healy, Kyle Seeger, Jose Lobatone, Tim Beckham, and Ichiro in the lineup today. So here we go. It is Jose Reyes going to take it the other way for a base hit. Loving it. Then we get Encarnacion up at the plate, and he's going to rip one there into the right center field gap. And that is going to bring Jose Reyes around to score and give the Seattle Mariners a 1-0 lead. Got a man on second now, and Jay Bruce is going to bounce this one, and he will be out, but he will move the runner over to third. Can we do anything with that? As we get Ryan Healy to come up, and he will ground out to first. So that will end the first inning, but Seattle with a 1-0 lead. Later on here in the second with two outs, a strikeout for King Felix to end the inning. Loving it. King Felix looking him off, looking menacing. Then Malik Smith is going to come up here with two on and two out, and he is going to fly out now into the top of the third on a full count with two outs and gets another big strikeout. King Felix getting the strikeouts when they matter the most. Here's Mancini, and he's going to strike out to end an inning as well. That ends the top half of the fourth. Bottom half of the fourth, we are threatening with two on, none out. But that double play right there is going to hurt us big time. But we have a man on third base, and the homer... Coming from Tim Beckham. None other than Tim Beckham. He is near the top of our team in homers this season. He has had a very good season, a surprising season. And there he is with another homer. And that's going to give us a 3-0 lead. Looking really good here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Let's see if that continues throughout the game, hopefully. Two outs, one on in the top of the six, and that's going to be a bomb launched out by Mark Trumbo. And that is a two-run shot, bringing the Orioles within striking distance here. Just a one-run game coming in on the seventh inning stretch pretty soon. So a 3-2 ball game here is King Felix. And this is another pitch in the top of the eighth, and he's going to give up the bomb. That is Jonathan Villar with a two-run blast to give the Orioles a 4-3 lead. Big-time play for Baltimore. Big-time homer for Villar. And now Ross Cup going to come into the game. He is 3-3 three three with a 4-17 ERA. Hasn't been the greatest in relief. We'll see what he can do. It's a 4-3 game. He will strike out Trumbo and get us out of the eighth. Tanner Scott comes in for the Orioles. It is a 4-3 game, bottom eight, and there's going to be a nice lift for Jose Reyes. It will drop, and Reyes will be into second with a easy stand-up double. 
So we're starting a little trouble here in the bottom of the eighth with one out. One on, and there's Reyes with the double. After getting moved over, it's Jay Bruce who has a chance. And that's going to get bobbled all over the place, and the run comes home. It's a tie ball game at four. And that will be an E. Then we get Ryan Healy to get a hit. We are close to taking the lead back. We have two on, two outs. And the 0-2 pitch to Seeger is swung on and missed, and that'll bring us into the ninth inning. Scott gets out of that. However, he does give up the lead to a tie. And there's a nice strikeout in the ninth. So now we go bottom ninth. One on, two out, and there's Malik Smith taking one into center. It would be caught, and we are going to extra innings. Ross Cup still in the game in the top of the tenth. That one would be caught to end the 10th with a man on. Now, top of the 11th, Ross Cup still there. He will get the strikeout to end the 11th. And we will move to the 12th, top 12 now. And the Orioles are gonna start something. With one out, they get a huge double to have a runner in scoring position. Now, it's gonna be a Gap little liner, a nice little hit. That's going to put runners on the corners with one out. And now Anthony Swarzak's going to come in. He's 0-1 with a 2-2-9 ERA. Swarzak on his first batter is going to get the fly out to center, but there's going to be a tag-up opportunity. And the throw to the plate is not in time. So the Baltimore Orioles will, Orioles will take a 5-4 lead. He would strike out the next batter, so Swarzak gets through it with giving up one inning that was not charged to one run that was not charged to him. Michael Gibbons comes in. He has nine saves on the year with a three RA. And Beckham has one going deep out there to left, and it just tails foul. Unfortunately, and then Beckham will strike out. And he goes down swinging. It really affected him. He thought he had a bomb there. And then we're going to get a hit from Ichiro. Those old school Mariners fans are going to love seeing that. Then on the top of the lineup, we get Malik Smith. And Smith is going to put one through the hole. And that is going to be two on, one out for Jose Reyes, who's going to take one into left. And that's going to hit off the glove of the left fielder out there. And we're going to have some really shoddy base running, which ends up getting an out anyways. And Carnacion comes up to bat. However, he is going to get intentionally walked. So the Orioles will walk the bases loaded with two outs for Ryan Healy. And Healy's got one going deep to left. And that one is caught at the wall to end the game. What a game we have seen here in T-Mobile Park. Jonathan Villar, the player of the game, as his home run really helped the Orioles win this thing. And we can see the box score here. There you go. Trumbo with a double. Ricard with a double. Villar and Trumbo with the homers. RBI is two for Villar, two for Trumbo. I mean, very important for them. Looking at our box score, Tim Beckham hits his ninth homer of the year. Bruce with an RBI. Encarnacion and Beckham had two. Uh, Hernandez, you can see, he went seven, seven and a third. Gave up four runs. And we will move to the second game of this series, hoping for a much different outcome. However, it is nothing, nothing through the first inning. Go into the second inning, and the Orioles trying to score, but they get thrown out at the plate. Going into the third inning now, Orioles starting trouble, but they get struck out and strand their runners. Into the fourth, nobody scoring. Into the fifth now. Wow, quick work we made of Baltimore in the fifth, but we get a score right there. Lewis is helping us out. It's a 3-0 game now with a lot of singles. There's a nice little grand salami by Omar Narvaez to make it 7-0. 
Now top six, and the Orioles start trouble, but we get out of the inning without getting a single run on the board for them. There's some singles, and that's going to bring across a couple more runs in this inning. So it's a 9-0 ball game. It's not looking too scary for the other side. Wade LeBlanc really pitching well in this one. However, he'll give up a couple runs off of a Ricard triple, so we will take him out and get through this thing with Chasen Bradford, who just has to get through this. Come on, he's got bases loaded, and he will get through it. We will win 9-2 to two in the second game of this set. Wade LeBlanc goes 7 and 2 thirds, giving up two runs, and we'll take a look at the box scores here. As you can see, a double and a triple for Ricard. He played very well for the Orioles. He was pretty much the only one playing for them. Um, looking pretty good. Lewis with a double. Seeger with a double. Narvaez with that grand slam was only his second homer of the year. Good to see. But he also made an error in the field, so I'm not that happy with him. But seven and two thirds, two earned runs for Wade LeBlanc. Brings his ERA down to 363. It's respectable enough. Now Marco Gonzalez looking to bring his ERA into the threes, hopefully. But he gives up a run early. He gives up three early. And this is going to be trouble for Marco Gonzalez if he cannot get the run support here in the third game of this set. Out of four that we will play against these Orioles. We finally get our first hit, and then we break the floodgates with a few hits in a row. Tying the ball game here in the third inning. So Gonzalez working, trying to work that ERA down. He's giving up some hits. He's down to a 406 now. Down to a 404 getting through that inning. Trying to get him as deep in this game as we can without giving up runs. And both teams doing a good job not giving up more. Narvaez with a double to lead off the inning. Sacrifice bunt gets him the third. Sacrifice fly brings him home, and we're in the lead of this ball game. With Gonzalez pitching somewhat decent. We are going to take him out, though. He's responsible for the run around first, and he is no longer responsible. So Marco Gonzalez on the hook for the win. Tui Valala hoping to help him out here. We're going to change to Strickland. Strickland, do not blow this save, and he does not. Hunter Strickland saves it for Marco Gonzalez, who goes seven and a third, giving up three runs. Not a horrible outing whatsoever for Marco Gonzalez. Decent enough. I will take that. Mancini with an RBI. Nunez with an RBI for the Orioles. Looking at what we have going on. RBIs, two for Smith, one for Lewis. Lewis with his sacrifice fly. Gonzalez, like I said, seven and a third, three, in, three earned runs give, given up. So we have Valala with a scoreless inning. And there you go, Marco Gonzalez. Final game of this set. Can we take the series 3-1 here? It would be awesome. It would be awesome if we took three out of four against Baltimore. Considering they are a lower level team that we should take more games than losing against. So, no offense, Hobie. But we're down one nothing in this one early. Into the fifth now, getting closer to the middle of the game, actually. But we're down one nothing, and there's a run. Jose Lobatone drives one in. We got a chance to drive in another sacrifice fly. Perfect. 2-1 lead. We got to play a little small ball at times, depending on who we have up. That's how we got to do it. But we will take the 2-1 lead. Yusei Kikuchi pitching pretty well on the mound. That's something we usually do not rely on. He has not been awesome this year, as you can see from his 678 ERA and his 2-9 record. We're going to bring in Swarzak, and Swarzak starts giving up the game a little bit here, but we get through the eighth inning with a 2-1 lead. Maybe insurance. There we go. An insurance RBI. It's 3-1. Strickland coming in, gives up a leadoff double and a run, 
but is able to get out of the game. Wow, that was so close. Strickland almost blew that thing. But we get out of it, Kikuchi. Seven strong innings. Looking at the box score. And that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to comment on the video. Let me know how you're loving the series. And subscribe if you're new. There's plenty more Mariners coming your way.